so sorry. I'm Linda, <laughs> you know Bev Tillis, Warner Brothers Publicity? Nice to see you Linda, again, Bev. Nice to meet you. I'm sure you know why you're here. I'm sure Candy told you. We're about to release VIP Lounge, the movie, and we would really like your help in promoting it. My help? <laughs> I already told Bev that we were pretty unhappy when they announced they were going to do a movie of your TV series without you. Mm -hmm. I cried that night, Bev. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind telling you, but... I woke up the next morning and I sent Cindy Crawford a note, well, a notelet, wishing her a love, luck, and lollipops. And it came from the heart, Bev. Uh -huh. It really did. Okay. All right. I think the first thing that we should do is get you some in depth interviews in the gay press. That shouldn't be too hard. Gays are crazy about her. Have you seen that gay Hollywood Halloween parade? <laughs> Every other guy is dressed as Linda. Oh, but a word of advice, Bev. Don't get involved in the costume judging. Remember that share at Oscar night? Spit on me, Candy? Oh, <sighs> faggot. Candy, please. Well, I don't care. He spit okay. on okay. me. Okay, okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to play the martyr. You're very upset. You weren't included in the movie. And then I want you to badmouth Cindy Crawford a little. Now, I know that sounds crazy, mm. kid, but Bev tells me it's a campaign that's worked with these TV to movie things. Absolutely. It's called reverse marketing. I mean, everybody's doing it. Peter Lupus did it for Mission Impossible, and then Jan and Greg did it for both of the Brady Bunch movies and the big hits. I, I don't think I'd be convincing, because I can't think of anything bad to say about Cindy Crawford. Try. She's so marvelous. Well, it's Try. no problem, Try. because you know what? My staff will make up some negative things, we'll feed that to the press, and then we'll attribute them to you. I don't know, though. How about you sang the theme song to the movie. Mm -hmm. And it would be a music video, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, my... Well, Candy, I'd be on MTV? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, well, I don't know about MTV, but I, I think I could get you some placement on VH1. Oh, the Michael Bolton channel. Oh, I love it on a rainy day. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know. If I'm supposed to do this bitter, unhappy, jealous thing, it's, it's going to take some rehearsal. Okay, try. Um, mm -hmm. What, like... Uh, mm -hmm. Say something. No. Oh, God, I'm so mad at Cindy Crawford. Oh, not really. I think she's marvelous. I. You see, I'm apologizing. I've been... no, but it's I... going to take some rehearsal. Right. It didn't come and naturally. It, it, didn't, good, it didn't trip off the tongue there. there. Welcome back. We're talking today with Linda Granger, the original star of TV's VIP Lounge. <laughs> Linda, are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa, but I am just so hurt. Well, your story of show business betrayal has gotten a lot of coverage, especially in the gay press. Yes, they are. Uh... We're here. We're queer. We're really mad that Linda's not in the movie. Get used to it. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, candy kisses. Oh, you're so wonderful. But there is some good news, because I have just released the single and a video from the movie Danger in the Skies. But now, I actually mm. thought that Celine Dion did the title song for the movie. Well, darling, that's right. She did the ballad. I did the disco remix, so. <laughs> Back to your feud uh, with Cindy. Yeah. Uh, I would like to read from your actual press release now, and I'm yes. quoting here. Yes, please. Cindy Crawford is a no-talent slut. Ooh. Oh, Linda? Goodness, I... Well, I, Lisa, I, I, I was so angry at the time, you know, I... You go on to uh, say, Miss Crawford couldn't act her way out of a bulimia clinic, which I'm sure she attends. Did I say that? And not only that, if she's half as bad oh, in bed as she is on the big screen, then I can see why Oh, Cindy... no, Lisa. Lisa, don't. I'm sorry, Bev, I can't keep up this charade. No. Who is Bev? Beth Mellis is the PR woman uh, for the movie, and um, I know she thinks that these hateful remarks are uh, brilliant headline grabbers, but I can't go through with it. I, I, I have to say that I think that Cindy Crawford is a marvelous actress, and yeah. I think she's a gifted spokesperson. Yeah. I don't care if they yank my video. I, I just have to say that. But Linda. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 you shouldn't be a shit. No, 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 you must come back because what this means to me is in this age of sleep, come over here so we can applaud you for your courage to be no. so kind. So kind. What a wonderful way of putting it, Lisa. You're so wonderful. You are so wonderful. Your skin is beautiful. Well, and not only that, thank you, but they may not show your video after this. But you know what, Linda? We're going to show it. We're going to show it right here, right now. The video. The video. Sometimes you're